perfect speed if you want to look up your firmware version just hold down the f turn the uh, knob here to menu number 59 then hit f and there's your version 1.11 which is the latest version um, we're at december 2020 m0 fxb hope this helps 73 you want to do the firmware update on your ft70 first thing to do is go to yesu's site and download um, the firmware update main and i'm in europe so we'll click europe you'll get this um, file come up um, extract it to a, a folder on your desktop. You've checked that your what firmware your radio is already running. If it's below, if it's before 1.11, then it'll be the old version, and, and the new version is better because it's the the connectivity with wires X is better. So there you go. You've got this big window here. Um, the there is an instruction manual here which so you definitely need to fully read this step by step can't miss a line because if you make a mistake and um, you you know have a problem with the radio you're going to be in trouble when you hit the USB driver click install and then let it do its thing I've probably already got mine on here, but you, you can see what it does. And it, it flashes like this for a while. Yeah, once it's done, I mean, mine's already on here, so it's coming up with this thing. But that's because it's already on there. So I can click yes to that for now. And then once it has done, um, then it'll get you to the point now where you're ready to flick the switch up. Um, then plug in your USB cable into the radio and the computer and then put the power into the, ra in the radio and then it should allow you to install the, the firmware. Well, then you switch the radio into writing mode. So here's the radio, it's a bit dark. In there you can see there's a little switch. I know it's dark, but flick it. Flick it up, this little black switch, flick it up for firm, for main firmware. As it shows in, in this in this diagram, look look at the way round it is. And then follow these instructions. So one, flick the switch up, two, connect the device to your computer using a USB cable, then hit next. So you, you click the uh, USB driver, once it's connected then you click update. Now I've already done my radio, so it's not connected, but I'll click it anyway. This is the system you use. Take the battery off, uh, remove the, uh, no, connect the cable that's supplied with the radio in the box then connect the uh, AC adapter so the battery's off once you've done that click OK and what it will do now it in this section if the radio was connected it would show the version of firmware you're going to need um, and then you just click OK and then you run it we can't do that now because we're not doing this system. It won't do mine because mine's already been done. Once you've um, uploaded the firmware, then you can flick the switch back to the center position, which is the normal operating. Then perform a full reset, which is press and hold the power lock, switch to turn the power off. Um, while, pr uh, while pressing mode HMRV and AMS key together I press and hold power lock switch transceiver turns on and you will hear a beep sound 
after you hear a beep sound, release the keys, all reset, push the F key, appears on the display, press F, you'll hear a beep, um, press the PTT, input your call sign, and see if your firmware version has gone to the right one, which you can check in in menu 59.